So the supreme god in Greek mythology is Zeus, whom the Romans called Jupiter. According to Hesiod, he was the youngest of six siblings, the previous five of which had already been eaten by their father Cronus before Zeus was born. They were immortal, so this didn't kill them. But Cronus feared that one of them would overthrow him one day, so he just kept putting them inside his belly as soon as another one was born. But Zeus's mother Rhea hid baby Zeus away to be raised by nymphs and gave Cronus a baby made of stone to eat instead. Now, Cronus seems to have fallen for this. But when Zeus grew up, he paid Cronus a visit and served him a drink that made him vomit up all of Zeus's brothers and sisters, those being Hestia, Hades, Demeter, Poseidon, and Hera, who eventually becomes Zeus's wife. After that, Zeus and these gods waged war against Cronus and his fellow titans for control of creation, and the gods won this war. And Zeus, as the conquering hero, was made supreme god over all the other gods and their specific provinces of rule. But this, of course, was just the story that was told by the Zeus-worshipping peoples called the Mycenaeans, who were an Indo-European people that swept down and conquered Greece sometime around 1600 BC. And they brought with them their supreme god, known as Deus, who was the god of the daylit sky. Well, after that, Zeus, who is considered to be the source of lightning and is usually shown in the company of his messenger eagle, shows up in almost all of the Greek myths, either explicitly or implicitly, often as a judge. For example, in his judgment to punish Prometheus for giving fire to mankind, or his judgment not to spare the hero Achilles from his fate to die in the Trojan War, even when Achilles' mother Thetis pleads for it. Well, the effort to make Zeus the supreme god can be seen in myths that make him the father of older regional deities like Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Persephone, Hephaestus, Aphrodite, Ares, Dionysus, and many others. And he's also made the father of many heroic figures like Heracles, Helen, and Perseus, usually by impregnating their human mothers while in some disguise, such as when he comes to Helen's mother Leda as a swan, or when it comes to Perseus's mother, Danae, as a shower of gold. But before being too judgmental of Zeus for those acts, remember that this does happen in practically all belief systems, including Christianity. 